What's up, folks? I'm your host, Conrad, on Wednesday Night Reviews, and tonight I am doing a wonderful review of three books that were sent to me by Montreal local Keenan Polancic. Um, the main one I've read the most of, because this is a rather dense book, uh, collects the first ever and biggest, and in Keenan's own words, his best. Uh, this is the complete Pro Canthology. Uh, I'm spacing it out like that because Pro Can. Uh, is pro-cannibalism, and this is the anthology for it. Uh, this book was written at a time when Keenan was thinking a lot about Montreal, life, drugs, sex, kind of going through it. It is a little melodramatic. It is a little um, overdone, and yet it is absolutely a fantastic comic. Um, what I find very fascinating about it in readers will find interesting is that this comic was not actually planned out so to speak it was drawn a page at a time and the story just kind of unfolded and every page looks like this it is all near panelless and very much so violent grotesque overdone but there is something extremely interesting about that layout and just how it pulls you in um, it is a very dense read because some of these pages have a lot of text others it basically you'll fly right through it because it's just imagery uh, and again this was not a planned out huge saga it just unfolded um, so again that is the pro canthology pro cannibalism by keenan Polancic. Uh, the next book he made that i find very fun and interesting and anyone on instagram needs to go chase keenan down uh is valley of fart slide it is a well i would call it an instagram comic nowadays that's how it would be done because each of these pages contains one or two comics they're single shot panel comics that are usually small jokes political jobs something along that nature and i find a lot of them fun um like if you're a godzilla fan lights gamara action uh, there's another one in which um basically we see godzilla with a ufo in its mouth and it's run over to the sea and there's a large cthulhu there saying you know good godzilla it's just interesting and like I said, you would see this on Instagram, like Lady and the Trump. So if these kind of comics, uh, sort of higher political thought, um, ones that are, you know, quick, easy, meant to make you chuckle, meant to give you some something to chew on in your head while you're walking through, maybe going to work or just having your coffee, absolutely, you are going to love Fart Slide go pick it up um it's a weird book it is made in montreal which i think is super cool i love when local stuff gets to be printed local uh and keenan Polancic is definitely a writer and artist that you're going to want to check out uh, the last of his three books that he sent me i have not yet read i must admit it is the complete keenan i'm sorry if i say this wrong the complete squid geology Sorry, the Squid Gee Octology. Uh, it collects eight issues, Squid Eight, uh, in which uh, he tells a story about a ancient city under the sea called Montreal. Uh, you can see a common theme with Keenan here, uh, and it's all about squids and their adventures through this ancient sunken city. So, as mentioned, I haven't read this one. I've flipped through it. I love the art. It follows his style where it is definitely hand-drawn completely. Um, very few panel work, or there's very few panel work in it. It's mostly sort of flowing text and imagery, which I'm starting to recognize as his style. And in this issue, or in this book, uh, it's definitely more cartoony, and the art feels very... connected developed uh like sort of um he's coming to his own on this one if that makes sense 
And whatever comes after this uh, may be Kenan's next big thing. Either way, absolutely please do. Kenan Polancic, I'm going to put up his name for you. Again, this is the, on the fart slide. Uh, go check out his Instagram, his website, get his books. He has many available for you, and enjoy. <laughs>